Occupational accidents and diseases lead to overwhelming impact on workers, their families, their future, on enterprises and the entire communities and economies. Governments, employers and workers' organizations have continuously been promoting policies and programs to improve safety at the workplace. Despite the many improvements, the prevention of accidents and work-related diseases continue to have a considerable importance on a global scale. In June 2022, the International Labour Conference decided to include a safe and healthy working environment in the ILO's framework on fundamental principles and rights at work. Today, the ILO is joining governments, workers and employers across the world to celebrate this decision. This decision does mean that all ILO member states have now an obligation arising from the very fact of their membership in the organization to respect, to promote and to realize in good faith and in accordance with the Constitution. The two conventions are the Occupational Safety and Health Convention of 1981, Convention number 155, the Promotional Framework for Occupational Safety and Health Convention 2006, Convention number 187. These are the fundamental conventions. To translate the aspirations of the conventions into tangible results, governments, social partners in the Horn of Africa should ensure that there is at least existence of a national authority responsible for OHS, existence of a national tripartite body on OHS, protection against undue consequences for workers who remove themselves from dangerous work situations, a requirement to establish joint OSH committee at the workplace level to promote cooperation between management, workers and their representatives, need to adopt a national policy, and development of a national program on OHS, and establishment of a national recording and notification system for occupational accidents and diseases. Let us see this June 2022 ILC decision as a means to contribute to having safer workplaces.